It's a very great day in the history of the school. I want you all to put your hands together as we welcome to our midst our new principal, a holy man of God, all the way from Rome, Reverend Preto. Good morning, Reverend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Please get seated. I want to thank you all and I want to appreciate you for the warm welcome you've all given me. I say may God bless you. Amen. When I say God bless you, you say amen. May God bless you. Amen. As your new principal, I promise you this will mark the beginning of greater things to happen in this school. And I also promise you that I'm going to do my duty without fear nor favor and with the fear of God. Put your hands together for God. <laughs> Once again, I say thank you very much. Thank you for welcoming me. Thank you. Thank you, Reverend. Okay. Well done, children. Please come. Hello, students. Good Are you happy? Yes. You don't sound it. Are you happy? Yes, ma'am. Sit down, class. It is my pleasure to introduce to you our new principal, a holy man of God, all the way from Rome. I want you to welcome 
our new principal, Reverend Preto. Good morning, students. Good morning, students. Well, I want to thank you for your warm welcome and uh, for your appreciations and having me around here. I thank you all. Let's say this is going to mark the beginning of a great school. And I promise you all that I'm going to lead you by the fear of God. Because the Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Put your hands together for God. Thank you very much. Thank you, Continue with what you're doing, please. be this ungrateful. I mean, Mr. Andrew was supposed to be our new principal. You are right, dear boss. Maybe she thinks Mr. Andrew is too young to be our principal. Too young? Hmm? Listen, as far as I'm concerned, he is the best teacher in our school. Everybody thinks the same way. Everybody Everybody thinks the same way. Anyway, whether she like it or not, he is my principal. Come, let's go. Good afternoon, Mama. Oh, good afternoon, Andrew. You're welcome, Andrew. How was school today? The school was fine. It was fine. Uh, the proprietress introduced us to a man from Rome who would be our new principal. The new principal? Yes. So my grace refused to make you the principal. Ah, uh, uh, Mama, must I be a principal? Come on, I, my, my schedule is quite tight. Okay. You know I wake up in the morning and go to school, stay till 4 p.m. Then I take evening classes from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Thereafter, tutorial classes till 9 p.m. So when, when will I have the time to do the job as a principal? Oh, spend me all that. You are the pioneer of the school. And you? Of which without you, such school wouldn't have been in existence. Mama, I thank God for everything. I thank God he has been rewarding me well. Come to think of it, there are colleagues of mine who are in the same position as I am who don't earn as much as I do. So I thank God. Did she specially introduce you to the new principal? Uh, no, she didn't. Um, maybe she'll do that tomorrow. Mama Cheryl, please. <laughs> Yeah. 
it is neither by power nor by might that we are all alive today. It is by the grace of one man, and that is God. And that is why we must fear him and appreciate him in everything that we do. Hey, press your head. My beloved students, I tell you with every confidence this morning, anything or everything you do without the fear of God equals to nothing. Repeat after me. Anything or everything you do without the fear of God equals to nothing. So we must start our life with God. We must start our existence when we wake up in the morning, the first person we talk to is God. If you must have a colorful future, then you must have the fear of God living inside of you. And you chase away all worldly pleasures to achieve that which you are striving for now. You are striving for perfection. To achieve perfection, you must let all these worldly things. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There is no way you can achieve this without the fear of God. It is fundamental to success. You need to obey God. You need to fear Him. You need to respect your fellow human beings. You need to love your neighbors. Love your classroom mates. Agape love. The love of God. You treat everyone with respect. Live responsibly. Protect yourself. This way, you'll be working towards glory. Bow your heads, let's say the word of God. Close your eyes as you talk to God. Tell him what you want him to do in your life. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because you have a calling for their life. And nothing shall our enemies stop them. Amen. Amen. Alright. So I'll go on to our today's lecture, which is from the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 23, verse 10. Uh, Madam, there is something I discovered that our children are lacking, and that is the fear of God. This morning, while I was speaking with them at the assembly. I, I had to preach and preach and preach at the assembly hall before I could get their attention. I mean, they, they, they are so loose. Well, Reverend, that's a very strange disease of the modern time. All these children have that trait. But, but that still doesn't make it right. You see, up there in Rome, we don't treat matters like this Lying low. Children must be disciplined. They must have the fear of God. And that's the only way to guarantee a safe future. Very well, Reverend. Now you're the principal. You can help us curb this anomaly. Oh, yes. Um, exactly what I was thinking about. You see, I, exactly why I brought up the topic. You see, I... Uh, to, to curb this anomaly, I need to be close to these kids. I mean, there has to be some interaction with them, you know, having an interactive session. And I thought about it overnight and I said, okay, um, maybe I should handle their CRK studies. Reverend, won't the workload be so much on you? Uh, no, no, no. Let's, let's just say these are the little, little sacrifices we need to put up to a guarantee a safe future for our kids. Huh? Thank you very much, Reverend. Thank you, madam. 
God bless you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Uh, yes. Um, now we're all for today. Class captain, sir, please be sure you collect the assignments and bring them to the staff. Okay, sir. All right. Good day. Good day, sir. Good morning, students. Please sit down. I learned you'll be having your CRK studies this period. Yes. Okay, fine, good. Henceforth, I am your new CRK teacher. Oh, well, um, let's leave that for another time, okay? I, I will come to that and we'll explain the reasons why Mr. Andrew cannot handle this studies again, okay? All right. So, having said that, I want you to bring out your CRK notebook. Topic for today is human human relationship with God. Human relationship with God. You see, before we go ahead, I would like us to invite the Father of all presence, Father of all occasions, the man without whom we won't be here today, the Alpha and the Omega to our midst. Let us pray, close our eyes as we call God's name and invite him to come and study with us. Let us close our eyes. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father God, we thank you because of this great day. Thank you for the mercies for the miracle you have given to us. We thank you for the miracle of life. As we study today, Lord God, we pray that you give these students retentive memories so they can absorb everything they are thought here today to your glory and eventually brings them to our great success. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, uh, how many of you like to be a success story? Good. See, uh, who is the class uh, monitor in this class? Oh, you. You're going to make a list of the males and females in this class, okay? Let me have the number of students in this class so I can have that in my hand. Having said that, you can sit down. And, uh, yes, good day, class. Yes. You want to see me? Uh, no, sir. I actually came to take my class on CRS. Really? Yes. Uh, coincidentally, that's the same course I'm, I'm taking. So I actually met Christian religious studies. Oh, I, I advise you go and see the proprietors. I guess she has some piece of information for you. Hmm? Go and see her. Come on, leave. Yes. So, like I was saying, yes. I was saying before the rude interruption that we need the fear of God in whatever we do. It is the fear of God that takes you to the next level. Madam, I'm supposed to be having a class now. But on getting there, I saw the principal taking over my class. I asked him why, and he said I should come and see you first. Yeah, I, I forgot to tell you. The new principal is good in that area. You know, he just came back from the Holy Land where he stayed for so long. So you will let him have the subject. 
I hope that's all. Um, no, madam. It's, it's just that I'm not comfortable with the way things are going on here. I feel I'm not being carried along anymore. How do you mean? You never told me you were getting a new principal, for instance. Well, that's the way I wanted it. Madam, I, I don't know what I've done to deserve this maltreatment. I mean, have you forgotten how much I suffered to make this school what it is today? I mean, how, how much I... Enough! I... You can leave my office. I don't have time for this kind of nonsense. Get out. I'm sorry, madam. Get out! So this boy had the guts to tell me how much he has suffered for this school. I have to do something about it. Else someday he will get up and claim the school. I will put you where you rightly belong. I, I want to use my life experience to give you a little instance to what I'm saying. You see, when I was in a secondary school like y'all, is to work hard. And you see, when you work hard and you butter it just a little bit with the fear of God, you'll be surprised what God will do in your life. You'll be surprised how God will immensely change your life and bless you. I, I don't play with my studies. And I love God to walk through me. When my results came out, I got scholarship to be in America. Just when I was celebrating it and I was saying, praise the Lord, hallelujah, my church gave me another scholarship to Rome. See, I had to take the scholarship to Rome because Rome brings me closer to the things I need to do in the vineyard of God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So if you allow hard work and mix a little bit, just a little bit, of the fear of God, you'll be surprised the awesome thing that God wants to do in your life. You'll be marveled at what God can do in your life. May God bless the teaching of his word in Jesus' name. So I'll uh, see you people. Uh, when is your next period? Yeah, on Wednesday for the second phase of your relationship. Bye bye. question all this why but it keep escaping my mind what's question it's all about your partnership with Margris. what's your income what's income are you talking about i mean the income realized from the secondary school what's the percentage <laughs> why do people keep asking me this question yes everybody even think you are the owner of the school what wait wait where would I get a huge amount of money to own such a school? Where? Listen, my friend. I am an employee 
just like you are an employee to your own boss. Okay. What? Yes. Do you mean you're suffering all this for another person's school? Look, the zeal with which you're growing this school, is that there is such that can make one a school owner? Don't allow this woman to use you. She will certainly dump you one day. So that's why I disagree with you. Margaret is a born again Christian. And she I'm, will do no such thing. And I'm still telling you that people will smile at you when they need you. And when they get what they want from you, you will see the dangerous part of them. That is what you just said. People, not Margaret. Okay. What about the young man that helped her in growing the primary school? Shina, where is he? After all he suffered to establish that school, this woman and her husband humiliated him. They sacked him without prior notice. My friend, be careful. 19 subjects is too much for one teacher. Wake up from sleep, boy. Wake up. Dennis, it's only God who would reward everybody according to his deeds. Are you alright? Me? I'm, I'm fine. So, no problems at all? No, no problem. Good day, class. Today, dealing with binary of race. Now, binary operations actually You're not happy. Why are you looking this good? Look, class. What is really going on? I need you to be happy. To listen attentively and understand. So please, can someone tell me what is going on? Becky. Now, Chris, you're the class captain. I need you to talk to me now. What is really going on? Chris? Thank you. So, it's about our preparatories. What about the preparatories? What? You should be so ungrateful. Heaven and earth knows how much you have suffered for this school and how much we loved you. I know how many schools have started the same way you started this school. Well, most of them collapsed. You sacrificed your health, your strength, and even your resting time for this school to stand. Now the proprietor sees you like a stranger. I remember the question I asked you some years ago when this school was too most good. Hey, 
then we have no other place but the sense. See you. Look, class. Please sit down. I, I don't need you to talk like this. Look, I understand the way you feel. I feel your pain, seriously. I do. But there is nothing wrong with having another person as the principal. There's nothing wrong. I am still your teacher. We are one team, one house. So please, stop feeling the way you are right now. Nothing has changed, Chris. You hear me? I said nothing has changed. Am I understood? Class, am I understood? Reverend. Yes, madam. I called you in here today to discuss a very important issue. It's about one of your teachers, Mr. Andrew. He's been a source of worry to me, a very big headache to this school. How do you mean? Reverend, he's so arrogant, so full of himself. He doesn't even have the worth of a teacher. Honestly, he's been my greatest regret. This is, this is quite surprising. I mean, your own employee giving you all these problems and you don't know what to do. Reverend, it's not that I don't know what to do. But this boy has corrupted the entire school. Three times I have sacked him. And three times the whole school came rioting. Even the parents threatened to take away their words if I didn't bring him back. Um, did you try explaining to them why you sacked him? Uh, Reverend, that boy has charmed the entire school. There is nothing you will tell these people that will make them believe you're telling the truth. This is serious. Um, so what do you intend to do next? Reverend, that's why I called you. I want you to battle him. Uh, battle? How? How do I battle him? Anyhow. Do it any way you deem fit. I just want that boy out of the school. I want him out in such a way that nobody will question me. And, and everybody will believe that he deserves to go. Um, Madam, please, don't forget that I am a man of God. Reverend. I am a child of God as well. Please do me this favor. Please. But the Lord, my God and my Lord, omnipotent one, the keeper of my faith, the provider of my needs, protector of my life, Lord, Father Lord, you are the one who gave me the talent to teach. Lord, you are the one who gave me the talent to imbibe knowledge into people. And for this, Lord, I promised you. I promised you, O oh Lord, to keep a covenant with you. I promised you, O oh Lord, that I will never compromise this talent with worldly pleasures, O oh Lord. Father Lord, I put on your table right now. Put before your table now my problems, Lord. I put before you now my problems, Father. Because you have provided for me in the past, Lord God, I want you to give me a solution now with your provision in Jesus' name. Father, Lord. Father, please.
Teachers are receiving their salary today. The secretary has already gone to the bank to pick up the money. 
please make sure that every teacher brings his or her up-to-date lesson notes. Do not pay anyone who does not bring an up-to-date lesson notes. All right, I'll do exactly as you say. Thank you very much. Um, lest I forget, we received an invitation card from Nilo Company for their dance troupe choreography competition. Okay. I will send the invitation card as soon as I get it from the school bus. All right, uh, when I see the letters, I'll know how to respond to them. Exactly. I will send it to you. And that's it for the meeting. Yes, yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, um, please, I am actually looking for my lesson notes. I know you know what my lesson notes will say, alright? So please, please, it's very, very important. I'm looking for that note. Um, without this note, I will not be able to teach. Most of all, I wouldn't get my salary. So you see how important it is. Please. Alright? Um, God bless you as you find this one for me. If you come across it, please, 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 please bring it to the staff room or anywhere you see it. Please. Thank you very much. God bless you. Sir, where did you keep it so we can help you search for it? You know, it's quite surprising because I left that lesson note on my table in the staff room before I went home yesterday. Sir, yes, I have you asked your fellow teachers? Maybe one of them might have confused it with his or her own. Actually, I have. But none of them could help me out with it. So please, please, uh, God bless you. Let me go to other classes. Um, sir. Yeah, yes, yes. What, what, what can I do for you? Uh, sir, I actually left my lesson notes on the table in the staff room. Um, but uh, I'm so surprised that I couldn't find it today. And then why are you here? Sir, I actually came to see if you could just consider me this one time, sir. Look, I, I can only consider you if you're here with your lesson note. That's the instruction. Uh, sir, I promise to find my lesson notes. Good. Your salary will always be here waiting for you. Just go get it and you'll get your salary. Sir. No more sales, man. I have to go. I have to balance this account because I have other salaries to pay. So you, you don't just make me go through next. These are your salaries. Everything is there. Okay, so just excuse me. Any problem in school? It's just been traumatic. Today is payday in school. All teachers got paid except me. Why? I couldn't provide my note of lesson. And what happened to your note of lesson? I dropped that note on my table in the staff room before I came home yesterday. Only for me to get to school today and not see the notes anywhere. I have searched every nook and cranny of that school and asked people, but no one could help me out with it. Uh, uh, I 
my son. I believe if you have insight, you will understand it that it is time for you to leave that school. You see, I've told you several times that your comfort is not guaranteed. In a school where your boss is desperate for your exit, all your colleagues are dangerously jealous of you. It is time for you to leave that school. It's not like I don't want to leave the school. But I'll betray the trust of my students. Mama, I have promised my students a better future. And their parents have entrusted them to me. So how can I achieve all of this if I leave the school? My son, you see, I quite understand your students and their parents love you as much as you love them. But we are talking about your life, your reputation. Your life is at risk. This woman has tried to kill you three times, three good times. She has tried to expel you from no just cause. Who knows her next plan? My dear students, I appreciate all the love and trust you and your parents have given me all these years. Of course you know I love you and I wish you well. I wish you a bright future. Chris, I want you to be the leader that you are. I want you to be the visionary that you are. Class, I need you to put into practice all the good things I have taught you. I say this because Because I may no longer be teaching in this school. Please, please, please. I, I would advise you don't let your parents know for now. Please. Sir, if you truly really love us as we all love you, why don't you please endure till we all finish our secondary school education? Imagine what the school will look like when you must have been gone. Because to so many of us, it's like our future lies in your teaching. No, 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 don't say that. No, no. Listen, all I can do is help you achieve your dreams. But it still depends on how ambitious you are towards achieving these dreams. I need you to be children of great achievers. Children of great aspirations. All right? Please. <laughs> so please. I'm not going to be able to stay with us till next year. I wish I'll be finishing a secondary school. Please, I'm not going to be able Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Stop, 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 well madam I have listened to the students 
And I discovered that the students so, so much love Mr. Andrew. I mean, he is a good teacher. And above all, I think he's God-fearing. As a matter of fact, if you must ask me, he is a talented teacher. And you are lucky to have such a hard-working man in your, your team. In that case, Reverend, he don't really know who Andrew is. That boy is planning to take over this school from me. That is why he has charmed the entire school. Reverend, those good qualities you're seeing in him are mere camouflage. Reverend, I want that boy out of the school. That is why I employed you. That would be too hard for me to do. Then, Reverend, do it the hard way. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, Philippa. What are you looking for in the staff room? The class sent me to you. But of course, you do know that the staff room is out of bounds to students. Go to your class, I'll come and meet you there. Okay. Philippa, come back. Philippa, what's the meaning of this? So I don't want you to go. It so that's why we contributed the money to compensate you because of your salary. Listen, Philippa, I appreciate your care, okay? But I don't need any compensation from you. Now take this money and go back to your class. Sir, we just want to care. Look, listen, Philippa, just take this money. You're going to put me into more trouble, alright? Okay, you just take this money and go back now. Philippa, you are a student. I mean, where do you get money to even give me? Mr. Andrew, what are you doing with a female student in the staff room? I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, nothing, sir. I can see nothing. Now you've confirmed all I've been hearing is true. Now, give me that envelope. Give me the envelope. No, sir, it's my envelope. Toto, give me the envelope. Are you giving her this huge sum amount for? I'm, I'm, I'm sir, I, I can explain. Oh, you sure will explain this. I assure you, explain this. this question for the very last time why did you give her this money sir I have told you the truth she was the one who gave me the money I know he will never say the truth and no student will ever tell you the truth Andrew you are not a teacher you are a destroyer and you, Philippa, I'm sure he gave you that money for an abortion. No, ma. The whole class contributed the money. Will you shut up? <laughs> the whole class contributed the money. And what were you doing alone with him in the staff room? What? Doing what? Every time. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Are you the only teacher in this school? Why must it be you all the time? 
the other time it was your birthday, Palava. Now it was you and the female student alone in the staff room. Please, my, it's all my fault. He, he, he didn't want me to come to the staff room, but I insisted. That Will you shut up? Liar. Why would you be giving him money? Reverend, please. Yes, ma'am. You will go with her to her classroom to confirm this story. Okay. Because I don't I don't believe this nonsense both of them are telling us here. I think that should be the best solution. Get up! Get up! Get out! What are you still doing here? Get out of my office! Be the children of God you are to say the truth. <coughs> Having the conscience to practice justice to the core. I have a question for you over here. And I want you to answer me in one voice. Your monitress here said you all contributed to something. So I'm going to ask this question once and you will answer me. Did you or not contribute monies together for any purpose? We did. We did. You did? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Harry, will you please tell me what you contributed this monies for? We all contributed the money just to show him how, how much we love and care for him. And at the same time, compensate him for the missing lesson notes. Go on, sit down. Sit down. That should be all for now. Hello. Hi. Our topic today is stock exchange. Who can define what is stock exchange? Look, seriously, Raphael, I don't know what to do. I mean, sh should I displease myself to please my students? No, tell me. You see, Andrew. As far as I know, those students love you and really want you. And if you remain with them, there is a guarantee of greater things they will do for you in future. Don't mind migrants. After all, you don't go there to teach her. Look, I'm afraid. Uh, I'm afraid that woman may hurt me. She will not succeed. As long as your hands are clean. Raphael, migrants could be dangerous. I've told you, just to do the right thing and look up to God. The current supplied by a battery flows in a single direction, except its terminals are reversed. Now this kind of current is called direct Now, I've talked about direct current. I'll tell you about alternating current. The current supplied by an AC generator flows back and forth in its wire. Now, this kind of current, which its direction 
is always reversed continuously is called alternating Massey, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Now, there is no single day you do not come to school late. Now tell me why. Sorry, it's my parents. What about your parents? We will start our morning devotion by 7.30 and finish by 8.30. And, and I won't have my breakfast unless we finish. After that, I'll have to trek from my house to school. We shall about an hour journey. Are you sure you're telling me the truth? Yes, sir. And whenever I complain to them that I come to school late, they beat me instead. And they are your true parents? My mother started maltreating me after she got married to my stepfather. It's alright, um, see me after school hours. I'll give you a letter to your parents. You can go back to your seat. Now, class, I was talking about alternating current. It is high time you understand that I am the head of this family. Do you understand? Now, let me tell you something. It is either you quit that job or you quit this marriage. Because I cannot have a wife and yet be living in a cold all because I'm married to a nurse who is always in a night. I knew I was a nurse before you got married to me. I can't quit my job just because you want me to do so. Mm -mm. If you're not comfortable with it, find me a better job. Clement, and stop complaining. Ah, God! Now look, who is talking about marriage? I was a prosperous young man. Before you deceived me with, 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 with your filthy money. Now you're talking about who, who, is, who is marrying each other? Are you the one marrying me or am I marrying you? Hmm, interesting. Thank God you said you came to me because of my money. Look at this talker. I cleaned you up, made you what you are. Nurtured you. Then now you feel you have the mouth to talk to, to me. Look at you. The Golo that goes to women because of their money. You are going to step foot inside this marriage. Whether you like it or not. Your daughter? She has gone to her school to tarnish my image. And I've told you time with that number. Send this girl back to her father's relations and he wouldn't listen. For what? Treat this girl like your own daughter. She is your stepdaughter and not your slave. Clement, I keep telling you that. Good. She is my stepdaughter. That's what I said. Obviously, she is not my own daughter. No. Send her back to her father's relation, please. And I want to be with my own family. And that is it. Your own family. Get your own family now. And you, why did you tell your teacher? I'm asking you, why did you tell your teacher? Basket mom. What sort of a wife is this that a man cannot have a piece of time in his own house? What sort of rubbish is this?
When did you start working on this? knows about meeting a man and that is what I intend to find out and now then have you asked her and what, what did she say I did not ask her anything I just decided to seek your consent first before I pounce on her I'm going to kill her this is too filthy to talk about Dick's money all right but if I discover that this is true only heaven will stop my action now where is she the stupid girl is in the kitchen Go and get her.
I don't want you to say anything. You're going to remain in this house until your mother and I return. God save you if you don't tell us the fool that has been sleeping with you. Do you understand? Now, woman, let us go. I said, let us go. I will kill you. I came back. Hmm? Now, tell me who has been sleeping with you. Maybe. Who knows I can save you from your mother's rot. Nobody saves you. Except who? Now, I bought something special. Very special for you. Right. Take a look at this. What is this? It's, it's a knife. Stop. Not perfectly correct, all right? This is a well-sharpened knife. Do you understand? What is this? I said, what is this? I, I don't know what it is. Good. This substance is poisonous and it can kill you, all right? Now, if you ever say that nobody slept with you, that means you've chosen to die by this knife. And if you ever said that I slept with you, you have chosen to die by this price. Now, who has been sleeping with you? Somebody. Good. Somebody has been sleeping with you. Alright? Now, if you ever say that I slept with you, I am going to kill you. And after killing you, I am going to kill your mother. Now, the only thing that is going to save you is by you finding someone else to mention. Now, tell me the places you do visit. It's only the church on my school. It can't be the church. Alright? Now, do you have any grown up boy in your classroom? Good. Now go. Go. No, 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 wait, wait. Do you have any teacher in your school that is not yet married? Yes, but you can't do it. Shut up. Now, what? Is his name? I said, What is his name? His name is Mr. Andrew. Good. If you ever, if you ever tell your mother that I slept with you, I'm going to kill you. And not only that, I'm going to kill you. I am going to kill your mother. Do you understand? Now go. I said go. Mama, Mama, come. Mama, I wish you a wonderful, excellent, good afternoon like I'm having today. <laughs> Amen. Yes, sir. Mama, Mama, I am matching. 
Mama, I said your son is marching on. Amen! <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> please tell me what makes this afternoon so special. So Mama, special. Hmm? tell me the good news. I can't help my curiosity anymore. Mama, just guess. I should guess? Just guess. What could make you happy from school? Okay, you have found your missing lesson notes. And my grace have paid you for last month. Mama, you're far from that. You are so, so far from that. Really? Mama. You see, the good news is that I'm finally leaving my grace. Praise the Lord! Yeah, Mama, hallelujah. Mama, and the better news is, I've finally gotten appointment somewhere else. The name of the school is Breadwinners International College. Mama, you need to see the school. It is wonderful. I mean, it, it, it's so organized, the management is something else. Praise you know. the Lord! Yeah, Lord, I thank you. My soul, I'm so happy that you're finally leaving the satanic dungeon called my grace. But have you formally informed her? Uh, no, I haven't. You see, I, I got the phone call regarding my appointments this afternoon. So I'll tell my grace tomorrow. Okay? But Mama, the surprising thing is that the owner of the school told me that even if I work with her for a week, she will pay my one month salary. Hey, praise the Lord! I have a miracle God. I have a miracle God. I have a miracle God. Praise the Lord. I have a miracle God. Oh God, I thank you. I bless you only because you are God. You are so good. You are so marvelous. Now, this week is for your body. Hmm? And this paper here is for your eyes. Now the only thing that is going to save you is by you telling us the truth. It is better you say the truth now. Because if you don't tell us the truth, I swear to God, I will kill you. And I'm going to you know what? If I kill you, I will defend myself anywhere. I am your mother. Don't allow me to pass on you. Hmm. You've had your mother. Tell us the truth. Who has been sleeping with you? Are you deaf? I said, who has been sleeping with you? What? what? You mean your teacher has been sleeping with you? Oh God, miss. Yeah. You were sent to school to go and study. And what you did was to go and start sleeping with your teacher. Hey, Masitu. Why now? Eh? Masitu, at what age? At what age? I'm asking you at 14. Don't beat her, alright? Let her not be as if she confessed under duress. Okay? This is unbelievable. As for that, your teacher. Oh my God. God will punish him. By the time I am through with him, eh? Hey, it will be better for him that a trailer crossed him. You, Masitu, as for you, by the time I finish with you, by the time I am through with you, you will know that I am your mother. You should you help. You help me as a mother. Hey, this guy has finished me wife. Oh, God. You see, don't threaten her, all right? You see, we've asked her for the truth and she, she, she cooperated. All right? Let's take it easy on her so that she can be able to tell us more. Okay? Now, how does this happen? Don't you talk again? He will ask me to take his bag home. And when I reach, he will force me and rape me. What? You see? He rapes you. It's okay, it's okay. See? Mr. Just... Andrew raps my own daughter. <laughs> hey! You see why I said we should take it is on her? Right? But before God and man, I am going to fight that teacher and I'm going to fight him to the last. Just have that in mind.
assure you. Madam, Mercy is not feeling fine at all. Why? What happened? Oh, Madam, it's a very sad news. It is so horrible that I don't even want to talk about it. I am going mad with it. I don't want to talk about it. Does it concern the school? Well, Madam, like my wife said, it is very hard for us to say. I think Mercy will be in a better position to say it herself. Mercy, what is it? It's, it's Mr. Andrew. Mr. Andrew? What about Mr. Andrew? He, he would take me to his house. He would tell me not to tell anybody that if I do, he would kill me. As I wanted to run, he pulled me back and locked the door. He, he, he then pushed me on top of the bed and, and tore my pants. Yes, go on, go on. He, he, he then slept on me and forced me. What? He did what? God. I knew a day like this would come. Madam, have you been observing anything like this? Not exactly, but I knew he had this thing with these children. Well, I noticed the pain she was having and I carried out a check on her, only to discover that she had started sleeping with a man. I, I want to thank you for coming to me first. But um, there's something I would like to ask your daughter. Masi, what you just told me now, can you repeat it anywhere? Yes, ma'am. Once again, I'll say thank you very much for coming to me first. And I'll, I'll make sure that the law takes its due course. Please, if you don't mind, I'll ask you to come back in two days. It's okay. I'm so sorry for everything. It's okay. I'm really very sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Make sure you regret everything. This is the end of the road for you. In the name of Jesus, our Father will thank you for this day. We 
We thank you for these ones. We thank you for life. As we teach them today, I pray that you open their innermost mind and make them to understand it. Madam, I have come to tell you something. What is it? I don't think I can continue working here. I don't understand. Madam, I've come to resign my appointment with you. Um, I have gotten myself another job. And uh, you're ready to go? You've made up your mind to go? Yes, madam. Well, I think you're old enough to know what is good for you. Since you've decided to go, it's okay. You will see me tomorrow to pick up your last month's salary. Madam, tomorrow is public holiday. Yes, that is why it is better for you to come. Since you can't leave your job on a working day. All right, madam. Thank you very much. Do you know what you have done? That is why you're running away. But I'll so disgrace you that no school will ever take you. Have you guys heard the latest news? What? A friend of mine from Winners College told me yesterday that he saw Mr. Andrew teaching in their school. Harry, do you mean what you are saying? I'm sure. I even inquired and the right source confirmed it. If eventually Mr. Andrew leaves this school, I must go with him. Oh. In fact, everybody will leave this school and Margaret will regret her wickedness. Hmm. If not because of Mr. Andrew, I would have changed from this school since. I just, I just hate everything about that woman. People are even hating her for the wrong reasons. Now, can you imagine that woman divorcing her husband? Huh? Imagine a woman divorcing her own husband. Oh. Before, do you think that kind of woman would ever respect her husband? And she claims to be born again. Eh? Born again, my friend. Born what? Born you. You think being born again is only when you don't wear trouser pants and preaching all over the school, all over the place? Listen, that woman is devilish. I even heard that the reason of devils was because she couldn't follow a male child. Hey! hey. And God will never give her. Amen! Amen. Amen. So, madam, um, when did he say he's coming? I told him 11 a.m. and this is past four. He's not here. Um, why don't you call his mobile line? Huh? Okay. He may not pick my calls. Then hide the number and call him. You're making a lot of sense. That's what I'm going to do now. Andrew, this is Margrace. Why are you keeping everybody waiting? I told you 11 o'clock. Why are you not still here? Okay, okay, we're waiting. He said he's on his way. That boy is a rogue. He suddenly changed his voice when he knew I was the one calling. You see? Because he knows his cup is full. That is why he refused to come at the agreed time. And I wonder how many of our girls could be on his list. Shh, shh. Let's keep quiet, he said. Why did you decide to keep everybody waiting? Uh, I'm sorry, madam. I had a few things to do at home. Whatever. Did you notice that Masi has not been coming to school? Uh, not really, madam. Except uh, for yesterday, I expected her to give me a reply to the letter I sent to her parents. What letter? I mean, what letter did you send to her parents? Excuse me, why are you shouting at me like that? Um, 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 gentlemen, gentlemen, listen, listen, listen to me, huh? This is not the way to start. 
allow us to handle this matter, okay? Thank you. Uh, Mr. Andrew. Sir. I want you to tell us the truth. The whole truth and nothing but the truth. What is going on between you and this little girl? Excuse me, pardon? Why don't what? Look, look, look. You are the devil here. Listen, 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 mister. I've respected you enough, okay? I won't have you insulted. You have already insulted yourself, you shameless ego. Madam, madam, what's going on here? What's really happening? Andrew, you have disgraced yourself. I am so ashamed of you. Masi, can you repeat what you told us that Mr. Andrew was doing to you? Say it. Nobody will hurt you. Go on, talk. He, 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 he will take me to his house. He will tell me not to tell anybody that if I do, he will kill me. As, as I wanted to run, he, he pulled me back and locked the door. He, he then pushed me on top of the bed and... And see your life. And tore my pants. He then forced me out. He slept on me. Mercy! Shut up! Shut up! No, you shut up! Shut up! Oh, shut, shut up! Please shut up! Listen, listen. Really, you are. Mas, what's the meaning of this? What's 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 this? I guess I have to call the police. Oh yes, oh yes. We have things has to be investigated. Because it's, uh, we don't want any such things. Hello. Is that the DPO? My oh, name. What am I doing to you? Margaret. Respect yourself. Please send some of your men to my school right now. There's a criminal here. Yes. Mercy. What have I done to you? So what did I do? How can a girl of her age eh, be messing around with men? Eh? What does she want that we don't provide for her? Still, she, she is uncomfortable. Eh? Anyway, please, Reverend, anyhow you want to deal with her, eh, you have our hundred percent support. Philippa. So all this while, when I preached to you, 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 you mocked me inwardly, right? No, sir. No, sir. So why did you fornicate? I'm sorry. I promise I will not. Don't shut up your mouth there! You liar! You, you... It's okay, my love. It's okay. Okay, please sit down. Sit down, my love. Is it good enough you trust us enough to want to report your daughter to us? And I assure you that I will show my unreserved interest in this matter. I will make sure she's met with the due punishment that she will never think of such in her life again. Okay, Reverend. I want her humiliated publicly. Let the whole school, I say let the whole school know she is a prostitute. It's okay, it's okay. I, I know how to handle that time. I know. Now you kneel down there. Come on, kneel down. And raise your hands. Close your eyes. Alright, madam, when I'm done with her, I'll get back to you. Okay? I'll see you when I get back to you. Okay, Reverend. You are a disgrace to this girl. Put down your hands. Upon all the moral lessons we give to you, yet you choose to disgrace us. In fact, it's yourself you're disgracing. Sorry, sir. Shh, shh, shut up! Oh, oh, what, 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 what is this? What is this? What? Now tell me what happened. 
he was touching you. A man can touch you anywhere. He can touch you on the head, touch you on the nose, touch you on the body. You, you won't mess up unless you want to mess up. It's you that chose to mess up. Huh? He was touching here and here. Yeah, he was touching where? Yeah, I'm here. Stretching your hair. Yes. Said he was touching you here. Eh? Huh? And he was touching you here. So when he was touching you here and here and here and here, what well, why did you why, why did you allow him to do something to you? Nothing. But, but he said he touched you here and touched you here. If you don't want to do anything, will you do anything? So when he touched you here and here, what did you do? Nothing. No, tell me the truth. When he touched you here. Nothing. What did you do when he touched you? <laughs> Nothing. So he touched you. Okay, get up. Uh, drop your bag. Go to my toilet. I have a special there. I'm going to change it to something good. And then come out. Rubbish. Actually, as she said, we came for Andrew's case, so we would like you to give us guidelines to the bailing process. As you can see, this is Andrew's case file. I'm taking it to the DPO, but he's due for court tomorrow. Court? Yes. <laughs> Excuse me. My please. son is not Excuse guilty. Me. Can we really follow you to the DPO? <laughs> you can come. That's not. Don't worry. down. The Lord can do everything. <laughs>
Well, Amber, it's especially for you, you know. Ah, you won't, I won't be caught dead doing that to any other student in the school. Bet me. The moment I stepped into your class, I saw my wife. Mm. You're my wife. Mm. <laughs> oh, are you too young to get married? Of course you know I'm too young for marriage. No, 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 you're not. Come on, you're a big girl. See, the moment you're done from school, I mean, you finish your secondary education, I intend to fly you with me to Rome so you can do your university education there. Rome? Yeah. Are you saying you want to take me to Rome? Sure, that's why I'm here. To find a wife, suitable wife for myself in my fatherland and resume to Rome and start a life. Okay then, yes. I'll marry you. Oh. I'm tired of this country. Then give me that which belongs to me. Come on. <laughs> ah, come on. Oh, my girl. Not too comfortable with this imprisonment. Reverend, it is the best. At least let the whole world know that I'm a woman of justice. Let me see how those students and their parents can bring him back this time. In that case, we, we have to be extra careful with the students. I mean, um, lots of them believe this whole thing is a frame up. This may affect our population in the next term. That's my point. Well, Reverend, I'm leaving that assignment to you. Go closer to the children. Show them lots of love. Play with them. Prove to them that you are better than Andrew. Oh, 
Well, I'm the costumer in the movie. Yes, my name is Kabunayi. 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 I'm not i i The Lord will fight this battle himself for the battle is the Lord's. The just shall live by faith. 